One image has haunted Zelda 64 enthusiast minds for many years. No, not the elusive unicorn fountain, the Triforce. An equally perplexing puzzle presented in this piece of footage from Shoshinkai 96. Many fans have tried to somehow fit this scene somewhere in Ocarina Time's story. Perhaps this is the rumored Sky Temple, or the supposed Temple of Light we never got to see. Well, I believe there's another solution to this, which I'm going to present right here. Most people are aware the Zelda team often starts development by reimagining old ideas to get a feel for new engines. For example, they began testing out gameplay concepts for Breath of the Wild with a prototype made in the style of Zelda 1. Ocarina of Time followed this formula as well, originally being designed with the idea of being Zelda 2, but in 3D. This Triforce dungeon seen at Shoshinkai 96 also bears a great resemblance to another location from Link's past, the Eagle from Zelda 1. Just take a look. The blue color scheme, the checkered floor, scattered blocks in the rooms, and the square entranceway that seems to lead right into another room. And just like in the Eagle, Link is fighting a group of Stalfos. Although there's only two here instead of three. But how does this all tie into the Triforce's appearance? Well, just like in Zelda 1, we see Link enter a separate room at the end of the dungeon, where he's presented with the Triforce. Of course, the difference is he gets the whole thing versus one fragment like in Zelda 1. In my opinion, this was likely a test dungeon, which was never meant to be in the actual game. The developers might have used the eagle as inspiration to create a simple design, which could help get a grasp of the gameplay flow in dungeons. The Triforce was likely a callback to Zelda 1, and was simply an item placed at the end with no real correlation to the actual game. Now, this is where the story would usually end, but thanks to the 2021 F-Zero X overdump, there is something more to this. In the texture files, there exists an independent Triforce icon. This is rendered within the menu itself in the final game. Does this indicate the Triforce really was obtainable at some point in development? Unfortunately, the script in the overdump doesn't make any mention of it, so it's possible this texture was a placeholder while the menu's design was being finalized, or they simply merged it to save memory. But without any concrete answers, the truth about the Triforce's purpose in Zelda 64 will forever remain a mystery.